Good morning guys, welcome back, or if you're new here, welcome. Sorry for the two week delay in vlogs, we've now started a vlog every two weeks. I know, it's terrible, I'm sorry. I've been away, it was my birthday, I went to Greece for um, a birthday trip. So a lot's been going on, but we are back and you guys are going to come along and spend the day at the yard with me. I have actually got some new parcels with me in the car today which I'm excited to show you all. Um, Boo has got a little saddle, you're not going to believe the cuteness, but I just feel really sorry for him at the moment. He's so bored, bless him, um, and he deserves to do something. And I have a little jockey at the yard, she's a little girl who loves him and adores him and she's small enough to ride him we think. So I've bought this little jockey saddle for him um, that I think will fit him hopefully. You wait till you see the size of it, the girth's this big. Um, and yeah, basically he's going to hopefully start being ridden. So that's the first step today, trying this little saddle on him, which I'm so excited for. In the back you can see a box, it's a Lemure box, the best packaging, the best parcels. I've actually got Lemure on now. It's the Twilight collection, I put this on my Instagram the other day, um, it's their new colour collection in their like, saddle pads and everything. This is part of the Twilight collection, this is the navy, um, and I've got the navy saddle pad, boots, fly ears, etc. <coughs> So we're going to try that on creme today, um, it actually will fit both the boys, luckily uh, the Lemure stuff fits both of them. So yeah, we've got a lot going on, so I'm just going to go to the yard, get my jobs done, I've just got some normal jobs to do, mucking out etc. It's rained, I'm so happy, <laughs> it has rained, but I'm pretty scared for the state of the boys because I feel like I'm going to go down there to grey ponies that have now turned black basically. So, we will see, but thank the Lord it has rained. We needed rain so, so much. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to get my car on. <laughs> that would start. That would be a good start. Get the car started. Goodness. And get on the road to the yard. So I'll see you when I'm there. Actually not too bad. Oh, <laughs> we've got a tree hanging to our mane. But look, I mean, I wouldn't say it's clean, but you're not too bad. Guys, I'm really sorry about the intro as well. I feel like I looked really miserable and sounded really miserable. I'm just a bit tired. <laughs> I feel like I wasn't very awake in the car, but I'm okay now. Sorry, I watched it back to look at the lighting and I was like, God, you look so miserable. Um, okay, so I'm going to start some jobs. I'm going to. Oh, you've got a little tear. Oh, what's wrong? Um, I'm going to start my jobs, do Albie's hay nets, Albie's bed, and then I move on to bird, then I move on to Graham. I have a little routine that I do. Um, let me show you the saddle though, because I can't, I can't even deal. Sorry. <laughs> Have you ever seen something so cute? Albie, we might have the way a minute. Let's show it on your door. Look at this saddle. Albie's scared of it. Albie, it's as big as your head. That's for your brother. And then please look at how small the girth is. It's literally miniature. Oh, I can't, I literally can't deal and I'm so excited to put this on him. This is so good by the way. It's from a brand called HKM. You've probably seen them before, they do everything. And it comes, I got this for about, I think I got it for 65 pounds on Amazon, but they sell it everywhere. I actually have seen this in my local saddlery, um, but I found it on Amazon the other day. It comes with a black numna. You can get any color, but I chose black. So it comes with the numna, the girth, the saddle. Um, it then comes with a set of stirrups, obviously like children's size, but still and then a pair of stirrup levers. So you literally get the whole thing. Oh, we're a bit bright. Let's focus. Um, you get like the whole collection, saddle, everything you need for 65 pounds, like 70 pounds max. It's so, so good. Like if you've got Shetlands or Minis that you want like children to ride, obviously they're only starter saddles. They're nothing, they're not great, 
but you know there's a child can sit on that they've got a handlebar here um obviously they're gonna have stirrups girth like it's brilliant i can't believe how good it is for the money especially like some something like boo that i don't want to spend a lot of money on a saddle for i don't know how long it's going to last he may hate it and it may not even work but at least i've only lost 65 pounds rather than hundreds and hundreds of pounds on a miniature saddle so i just think this is a really good idea and i'm so excited to try it on him but it is absolutely diddy and I think he's going to really be fuming with me. I don't know how it's going to go. I think we could have some rears, bucks, God knows. But we're going to try it on him first before we put any child on him. It's all going to be safety measures. But to be fair, I have actually seen videos of Boo being ridden by children before I got him. Um, I don't know about saddle and tack, but I did see children sitting on his back. And I've sat my cousins on him and he's fine. So let's hope he's okay. But it's the saddle I'm not sure he's going to be okay with. <laughs> But we'll see. So I'm going to get on with my jobs. Sorry, I keep swapping arms. My arms are aching. Um, I am going to get on with my jobs. And then I'm going to try this on him and see the cuteness.
ever seen something as cute as this in my life. Look at the rolled up stirrups and the girth. Boo, you are so cute. Oh, just so, so cute, honestly. <laughs> I don't know if he's too keen yet. He doesn't seem bothered by it at all. Come on. That was just the cutest thing ever. I took it off of me now. Sorry, it's a bit loud. It's like tractors going past. Um, I've took it off of him now because I'm going to wait for the little girl to arrive for her to then sit on him. But he seemed fine. I walked him around the yard um, and he just wasn't bothered at all. Like a mark. Oh no, it's on my screen. So. I have done Albie's hay nets. I am now going to ride at my first pony of the day. So I'm going to take Albie on a little hack with my cousin around the field because something exciting is happening next week. I am taking Albie and Krim somewhere on holiday. I'm so excited but a lot of riding will be involved for Albie so as you know obviously he's not as fit as you know he could be because I don't ride him as much um, due to his arthritis and stuff so I like to just hack him out so for the next two weeks before we go I'm gonna keep hacking him just so that you know get his fitness levels up a little bit ready for where we're going which I'm so excited for so I'm gonna give him a little groom tack him up and take him on a hack he's like 50 shades of white and yellow at the moment <laughs> he's like white in places and yellow is another a quick groom experiencing this but the horses are so fluffy like for summer I don't get it I think it's because we've not had like our summer weather didn't start till really late so like I'll be so fluffy it's like he needs clipping We are tacked up, ready for a little hack. So I've got a new little gadget for my phone that sits here. I'm hoping I can film my little hack, but I'm not sure if it's gonna work, so we'll see. <laughs>
I can see it. No, it's not on him now. Walk in. I can't hold my phone and do that. Come on. Huh? Mummy's ice cream. Mmm. <laughs> Just ate the whole thing.
boy, Bird. Oh, well done. Hold on her eyes. That was just the cutest thing I've ever, ever seen. He was so good. He really surprised me. I love what I top on, I do. Um, he threw one little buck in, which was really funny, but I didn't catch it on camera. But he was, it, it was very little, and it was just because we let go of him, and she asked him to try, and he was just like, what do you want me to do? Um, but he's never really done this before, so he didn't really know what to do. So she's just sort of, she sort of was like teaching him, but it was so cute. Hopefully the aim is that she can come on hacks of us on a lead rein um, while we all ride out. So it would just be so cute. So I've come around to see this one, and he's the dirty one. So, my pretty golden pony is filthy. Great. Got some grooming to do on you, boy. But first, I need to muck out his stable because he's just like the messiest horse in life. And make some hay nets. And then I will be riding. My mum's coming down. Um, so she'll be able to do some filming, so I've got someone to film me today and she also needs to get some content of me in the Twilight collection that I mentioned about, which I'm excited to try on him. Oh. Stress levels. This horse is so stroppy, like he's got such an attitude that he gets the ump with something and that's it. Like he's, look, now he's just having a shot. I don't know if you can see him. What's wrong? Having a shot because he couldn't get enough hay out of the hay net, so now he's found the hole at the top. Honestly, my horses are just stressful. Yeah, so one more muck out to do, um, and hay nets, and then I can ride creme, and I am done. I'm pretty tired today. I'm tired riding two ponies and doing all the jobs. It's tired me out. I haven't even rode the other one yet, so it's worrying. But yeah, I'm going to get on with this. I'll pop the camera up if you're interested in watching me pick up poo, basically. And then um, I'll get him groomed for sure, tacked up. My mum will hopefully be here. And um, we'll have a nice little ride. I don't know why he seems so erratic today. Great, good luck to me. <laughs> I'm so thankful that it's so much cooler today. Like I've got a jacket on and I'm not hot. So nice, it's just be cool down here. because of the weather we've had um, and I just hate for them to like feed without any forage or um, hay etc so they are being hayed out in the field and then obviously coming into like nice big hay nets but yeah if you're wondering why the hay nets so big <laughs> I just pretty much fill my boys hay nets up like none of my boys are overweight 
None of them need to lose any weight, um, even little Boo, bless him, He's, he does really well with his weight, um, especially like with the grass at the moment. Um, so yeah, mine just honestly have like continuous hay, obviously to a certain extent. <laughs> I don't just overfeed them, but they have a nice amount, um, especially while the grass is like this. I've never had to like experience this, I've never had to hay my horses in summer. Like it's absolutely crazy that, God I look awful, look man. <laughs> Um, let's take this hair down, looks better. Um, yeah, I've never had to hay my horses in summer. It's crazy that we've had this weather and the grass has gone so bad. Like, I thought it was just me, but I've been seeing a lot of people in the same position and everyone else is like haying their horses out in the field as well. So I don't feel as bad. Um, but yeah, there's been no summer bellies this year, really. You know, they're, they're all good weights, but yeah, normally Albie gets his big summer belly from the grass, but this year he's not. But it's all good, now it's rained, hopefully it's going to grow back. Um, so, last bed and hay net's done, thank the Lord. So I'm going to give Krim a nice groom, and then start tacking him up slowly and wait for my mum to get here. She's bringing me a drink, I'm dying of thirst, and I've got really sore throat, I don't feel very well. So, I'm powering through, last horse to ride and then I'm done. Um... I don't actually always ride both the horses in the same day, but I have done it quite a lot lately because I always just hack Albie, so it's easy. I don't have to do two work in, in the school. Um, but it's tiring. It's a lot. I don't know how people do it with loads of horses. <laughs> I suppose they have help with their chores. I do it all. But, yeah, I'm going to groom. Get trying this Twilight collection on him. I'm excited. I think this um, collection is going to look really nice on him because it's like navy. He's really getting stroppy with his hanging it over here. Look. What's the matter? Oh, we're not happy. No, we are not happy, are we? Wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. All right. Yes. Um. Yeah. Let's get this mud off of him.
groomed jobs are done. So, this is my new numna. Well, I call it numna, it's a really old way of saying it, but people say saddle pad now. New saddle pad. So this is the navy from the Twilight collection. I don't know if this lighting's really bad. It's like so exposure. Let's turn you away from the light a little bit. That's a bit better, yeah. So this is the saddle pad. It's so nice. It's like navy um, in the shiny material and then gray around the edge. Um, is the ears, which again are navy with the uh, grey around the edge, they're going to look so nice on him. And then, my favourite part, excuse me, come on, shush, my favourite part, <gasps> these are so nice, I've always wanted the Lemure fluffy boots, um, and I nearly got them the other week, but like just in like a plain black colour, but these are the navy, but they're like quite a dark charcoal -y, charcoal navy if that makes sense um they're so so nice with black fur and they've not got fur all the way through them so they're like nice and breathable for summer so we can wear them in the heat um <clears throat> so yeah i'm excited to try this on him and I'm gonna ride so i'm gonna get tacking up and i'll show you what it all looks like Okay, we are ready. He looks so smart. This really, really suits him. These look so nice. We're ready to go.
sweaty mess <laughs> look at me how sweaty i am and he's very sweaty as well he was amazing today um yeah so i'm just literally filling him up a bottle of water um bottle of water i mean a bucket of water here you go boy he's um a very thirsty horse and he tells me when he needs his water hang on let me unclip you do you want me to reach it there you go Loves his water. Oh my God, <laughs> the state of me, that's actually illegal that I should be coming on here looking like this. Um, okay, so yeah, pretty much done my day. Just gonna put him in the field now. Albie and Bill are already in the field. Um, just quickly make feeds for tomorrow for Albie and Boo. And yeah, I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna hose him down quickly. Um, and yeah, I will talk to you in a sec when we are down the field. I need to put some hay in the field for the boys, sorry if you use a bit of wind. My camera's run out of charge again. I need to get some spare batteries. Um, so yeah, I need to give them a little bit more hay in the field as well. So I'm gonna do that now. Right, in the mud. <laughs> Albie's looking at him like, well, what's he doing, mum? Silly. What's quite good is I asked the yard manager if we could have a bale of hay here, which is outside all of our fields, because we kept bringing all the hay down and it was just, it was, it was getting so messy, like the hay was blowing everywhere. So really handy. We now have hay here, which is brilliant. So I'm just going to chuck some hay into them. Um, and yeah, then they are ready for the evening. They have got their hay. Little Mr. Nosy. I think they've been running around last night when the rain was here because there's a lot of mud, which I've not seen in a long while. Um, yeah, they're all hide, ready for the evening. I'm just gonna fill up their water because they have drunk this little one. Um, and yeah, then they are ready for bed. I don't trust you, you're probably gonna walk out of that, aren't you?
can't believe what I look like. Look at me. <laughs> wow. I'm literally the colour of the tape on the Lumiere box. That's the funny thing. Okay, I'm done. Finally. For like a bit of hours. I've took my time today. Ice creams and everything. Wait at my time. I'm normally done within like two and a half hours. But anyway, forget about the time. Um, yeah, done. So I've got both horses ridden. All my job's done. Horses are now out for the evening. Um, thankfully, it's cooled down a little bit. However, I'm still sweating. It's boiling here. Jacket's off. It's got hotter as the day has got on. It started off really nice and cool today. I was really excited about the cool weather coming. I'm kind of excited for autumn and winter. People are going to hate me for saying that, I know. I do love summer, but I'm done. I'm done. This 39, 40 degrees heat wave that we've had has really just ruined it for me. I like now hate summer and I'm so hot and so done with summer at the stables. I used to be like, yeah, I love summer at the stables, hate winter at the stables. I'm half looking forward to putting on my big fluffy Lemure coat and actually getting to try out my Equi dry coat because I've never tried that before. So yeah, I'm sort of excited for winter. Sorry guys, anyone that hates winter, you're gonna hate me, but, oh, sorry. Yeah, um, I'm done. Thank you so much for spending the day at the stables with me. If you can hear the aircon, I absolutely have it blasting at me, boiling hot, dying here, need a drink so bad. Um, yeah, so thank you for spending the day at the stables with me. We've got some exciting things coming up. As I said earlier, we're going on holiday with the horses. I'm so excited. Um, so there'll be a few vlogs coming up in the next two weeks. I'm going to do a little pack with me vlog because I've got a lot of stuff to take. Um, and I feel like I need to document it and you guys need to help me. <laughs> So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you love this vlog. I hope you like seeing what I get up to in the day at the stables. Obviously it's summer, so I'm not, you know, doing full muck outs and making loads of hay nets and feeds. You know, the boys are on summer, summer beds and summer food. So not too much to do in the summer. It's a lot easier, but yeah. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe.